Shark attacks have been on the rise worldwide for nearly a decade. There were 58 in 2005, rising nearly 25% to 72 last year. Some, ex some experts rather think it might be due to mistaken identity. Many victims were surfers, and from below, a surfboard can look like a genuine shark bait, a seal. So as David Begno reports, an Australian team hopes a simple redesign of the board could save lives and limbs. Sharks are some of the ocean's fiercest predators. But unlike their teeth, their eyesight is not so sharp. At least that's the view of Australian researchers, who are now looking into whether sharks are confusing surfers for their natural prey. Marine biologist Dr. Chris Lowe runs the Shark Lab at California State University, Long Beach. Are humans appetizing to sharks? Well, if that was true, places like Waikiki Beach and Santa Monica, they'd be like Costco for sharks. We just don't see that. So then why the increase in shark attacks? Researchers at the University of Western Australia and Sydney's Taronga Zoo are testing a theory. Whether sharks mistake their natural prey with humans. So we need to understand exactly what it is that an animal gives off that brings sharks in. Researchers recorded a shark's eye view of surfers and seals, comparing their silhouettes, shadows and sounds. They developed a software program to mimic what a shark sees and hears underwater and found striking similarities. Visually, uh, you can imagine how um, the silhouette of a seal and a surfer look very similar, uh, even to our own eyes, but also to an animal which doesn't have quite such good visual acuity, such as a shark. So I think there's some indication there that the mistaken identity hypothesis uh, is valid to some extent. The next step for researchers is to see if breaking up that silhouette will help prevent shark attacks. To study this, they've created a seal-shaped decoy out of the same materials used to make surfboards. Yeah, you can see this one's um, received a bit of attention from a, from a white shark. They plan to attach lights to the bottom of some seal decoys, helping them blend in with the sunlight above. They will then compare these decoys to the ones without lights to see if one acts as a shark deterrent. They would be looking to uh, employ this sort of technology on surfboards and get some sort of counter-illuminated uh, surfboard if it was shown that that does in fact reduce your likelihood of getting attacked by a shark. As for Dr. Lowe, he's encouraged by the Australian research, but he says even with improved shark repellent methods, people should not have a false sense of security. Can we prevent shark attacks 100%? My feeling on shark repellents is that no. That group in Australia has made great strides in helping us understand sensory biology of sharks. But we have to make that next connection and how they use that to change their behavior. The ocean's a wild place. And anytime you go to a wild place, we're a guest. For CBS This Morning Saturday, David Begno, Los Angeles. That's a very interesting hypothesis. And I, I didn't realize how, how much the silhouette of a surfboard from down below looks like a seal. It's also interesting because I always thought that shape was responsible for being able to glide through the water. Yep. So how do you redesign it and still and make keep it that dynamic? Ability, yeah. yeah.